at last, at last. We're back, we're out, gonna be doing stuff, coming soon. Um, yeah, so, today in the workshop, it's on its big wheels. So yeah, so, um, I've just been filming um, a, a, a new episode for a new TV series that's coming out. I'm not allowed to mention what it is just yet, but as soon as I can and release it, I can tell you what it's called and what we've been doing with Swamp Thing. So we've just been in the studio, uh, in here filming some studio bits today. So Swamp Thing's looking at his best. Thank you, Power Max. Thank you, Lucas Oil. Um, yeah, back on board again with us. So yes, yeah, so we've got shows coming up very, very soon. So we're gonna be up at Santa Pod to start with, with their um, Festival of Power Unlocked weekend. So we're coming up there. And also we're going then straight into Trucks Fest. So the next one we're gonna be as at the three county showground at Malvern. But yeah, just look how good Swamp Thing's looking. So all I'm gonna do now is gonna take it off its big wheels, put it back onto the small wheels again. So I've already got them lined up. It's already jacked up at the back. So we're gonna do that next. And um, then I'm gonna put the back big wheels back into the trailer, which the trailer is just parked just outside the workshop. So the trailer's parked just out there. So we're gonna load the big tires back into it. We're gonna leave Swamp Thing out in the workshop. There's a couple of little bits I wanna do to it. Um, we did some filming for another TV programme that I can't talk about. <laughs> um, and we got to fix a couple of little things. So we, just, we broke a, a bump stop on the back on doing one of the jumps. But yeah, so we're finally doing stuff. It's been a long, long time. I think the last time we was out with the monster truck was August last year, which seems too, too far away. But yeah, back finally doing stuff. So let's get these big wheels off, put the small ones off, and then we can park it up in its normal parking space just up here and, and then we can do some work on it.
Okay, so it's all there on its little wheels now. All parked up, ready to work on. So something I have done, but I didn't bother filming it because I don't see how I could make it interesting. I only try and do videos that are interesting. So on the tires now, if you know, this is the inside of the tire. I've actually cut off this piece here. So I've cut that little corner off. Reason for that is now and again, if I land funny, this bit was hitting the shock absorbers on the truck. Um, wasn't doing too much damage to them. It's just knocking the paint off and it, I get fed up of repainting them. Yeah, so by cutting that piece off, it just makes it a little bit easier. If you stand at the front of the tire now, you can see on this side, it's got the ears on it and on that side it isn't. The way I cut them off, I just use a steel saw and just get in there. It takes a while, you get nice blisters on your hands cutting them, but it's the quickest and easiest way. Now, if you use a, a, a tire cutter, what happens is, because these are used tires, as soon as you start cutting it and it hits something like a little bit of glass, a um, bit of plastic even, um, because the blade is red hot, it just melts it and buckles the blade because the blades are really, really thin. And you literally, you, you put one in, you cut, and you do probably two cuts, and you have to change the blade, and it takes about a minute to change the blades. And you think how long it takes to do these. So they take roughly about just over an hour to do a tire. So there, so that's why I used uh, the, the, the reciprocating saw, just to blast it off. Looks quite neat. But yeah, so just got to load these tires back up into the trailer. I don't think I'm going to film that even because you've seen it all before. It's just me pushing tires into the trailer and then we can get to work on Swamp Thing. There's a couple of little things I want to do on it to make things uh, a little bit better because they're actually on the, the little transport wheels. They're only held on with little tabs and the tabs have got cracks in them. So I'm going to take the tires off, well, take the inner tubes. He's got inner tubes in these tires. Take the inner tubes out, weld the cracks up and then I'm actually going to put some extra flanges on it to make the, 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 the transport wheels a lot stronger. Okay, so everything's back in the workshop, all ready, so we'll do some work on Swamp Thing. It's the next day, so we're going to do what I was talking about yesterday. So we've got the transport wheels on, and these have got inner tubes on, so they're a little bit awkward to take apart. So if I flip the camera around now, I'll show you what I've been doing. Okay, so this is the rim on its own, as you can see, so it's got just the four mounting points on it. But also, where it was originally a farm tire, these have got some extra bits on there, and I don't use them. But what happens, uh, so this one is just here, at just how I turn, took it off. You can see it's a right mess. So this one I've sanded, sanded up, cleaned it up. I've cut all those little brackets that are not used on it. But this is actually what's happening with the wheel. So you see there, it's still welded, but it's actually ripping the piece of the rim out of the, out of the side of it. So, the, so this piece is welded, but it's actually just breaking the rim. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld some extra pieces onto here just to make it a little bit stronger. So it's gonna spread the load. It, it basically, it does it on the back because the back is where it's got the, the lock diff in it, it. That's what puts a lot of stress into it and it breaks it up. So yeah, so that one's all cleaned up. I've got to sand this one up and get it all nice and clean. Get all the rust out of here because when you get rust in here, that's what actually punches the inner tube. So yeah, so these wheels are probably original. So they're probably, I'd have thought 25 years old, these these transport rims. I don't, you don't really, don't really have to wear them out. The tires are still new since I've, still look new since I've had it. So. Yeah, so let's go and just show you what the inner tubes look like. Okay, so that's the inner tube out the side of the tyre. So these are the tyres. Just take them off. So the tools I use to take it off is some tyre soap, bead breaker, and then just two tyre levers and a little sledgehammer. And it takes about five minutes to get the tyre off. Not too bad. The hardest bit is the inner tube because you don't want to puncture the inner tube. Okay, so I've changed my mind originally. Oh, it's still rolling about. Originally, I was just gonna leave these on and then just weld them, weld pieces onto here now. I've had a good look around the rims and where 
there's been pulling through it isn't, I don't think it's a good idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some new mounts and put them in between. Um, but at the moment there's only four that hold the wheel on. And if you notice, if I stand back, so they're not evenly spraced because there's actually 10 studs on the wheel. So what I'm actually gonna do, I've made a template up. So this is, this, this metal's too thin. I just had it here lying about, so I just made a template up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount five of these evenly around the wheel. And that's, of course, that's, it's gonna be stronger because the metal under here is gonna be good. It's spread over a lot wider area than that. Still nice and light, because basically I don't want to make these wheels, these wheels heavy because I have to lift them up every single time when I put the, um, when I put the transport tires back on after using the big wheels. So we don't want, don't want these heavy. So five brackets like that made out of probably, I'm going to make them out of eight mil steel and then weld them on all evenly around the wheel is going to be a lot stronger than these and it won't have the rim failure that I have been having now and again. It doesn't happen that often, but seeing I've got a little spare time at the moment, I'm just gonna make these as best as I can. Okay, so this is what the brackets look like, sir. So already drilled them out on the drill. Uh, so now I just have to cut them out with the angle grinder, just to cut them in a nice shape. So you can see I've, scri I've scribed where it needs to be, and all I've got to do now is cut. Just take uh, uh, the, uh, the angle grinder with a, with a flat disc on it. I just go around the edge just to take off the sharp edges and take off the mill scale off and that one and that one so that's a whole set so that's all ready to weld onto the wheel Okay, so the rim's all welded up now. So you probably saw I was spraying it with this stuff. This is Power Maxed out weld anti splatter. So I haven't even cleaned this up. So this is how clean the welds look. So when you're MIG welding, I've still got my gloves on, it's still really hot because I've only just finished it. So yeah, so you get little little spits of splatter now. It comes off really easy. So like there's a piece there. Instead of having to get a grinder on it, you just get a little chisel, just tap in, it comes off. But it, it, it reduces the amount of splatter tremendous, tremendously. So that one's all welded up now. Looks completely different to what it did before. Okay, so if you couldn't remember what it looked like, that's what we started off as. Just four little tabs, um, breaking the rim, so. And now we've got five lot bigger tabs, spreading that load over it a lot more. So. Just three more to do. I'm not going to video doing the next three, but yeah, so that's what I've been up to um, today. Wow, look at the state of me. So yeah, wheels all done, all welded up. So the back, back two are done. I haven't started on the front ones yet because they're still on the ground. Um, yeah, so all the wheels, these two back wheels, they're just in primer at the moment. They will stay primer just on the inside, but I will physically paint the rest of them black once the tires are mounted because you do scratch and put the tires on. So, so that's it for the moment. Um, don't forget, we have got some shows coming up. So if you want to check our website out, that's swampthing4x4.co.uk for all our forthcoming shows. But that's it for now. Take care. Bye-bye. Just to know what